Welcome back. We're back with a new segment called Did You Know? Where we present a fact that the other person may or may not know. And then you guys will decide whose fact is more interesting. We just had a previous discussion on one of our failed takes <laughs> of how we go uh, try to, from this front point on, we're thinking about doing a category and then we'll both bring a fact to that mm -hmm. category instead of just two random facts mm -hmm. pulled from the universe. Right. Yeah. So we need y'all to vote and comment on who you think had the better did you know fact. Right. And today, since, well, when it's dropping, it's going to be Juneteenth, we're going to be doing black history facts that we thought the other would enjoy or don't mm -hmm. know about. Or just better than what they can present. Yeah. Uh, before we get into that, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm TK, a.k.a. Fred Hampton. Okay. And I'm Darius, a.k.a. Baby Boy. You know, I don't want to be Fred Hampton. Uh, give me uh Now, he got shot, too. Anybody, it's not the, the, sh the murder rate back then was crazy. <laughs> so, anybody you think Everybody probably, got yeah. popped. But who, who did, did nobody stop? Stokely survive? Carmichael made it out. All right, we'll do Stokely. You yeah. know what I'm saying? No, just get just give me uh 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 John Stewart. John Stewart? Oh, yeah. he going he gonna reset. Yeah. And I'm Stephen Colbert. <laughs> no, nah, I was talking about John Stewart, the uh Green Lantern. Oh, Green Lantern? Yeah. Well, I'll take John Stewart, the Jewish man. <laughs> <laughs> they both creators. You know what, you know what, what I'm saying? saying? Hey. Hey, I'll take that, man. And, and this, this is mine the gap. gap. All right, so we we uh flipped the coin, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna be going first. Uh, mine is lighthearted. I ain't, I found some I found some dark stuff that I'm gonna talk about later. Okay, just to throw it out there, but I wanted to keep stuff light. But this one this one is inspired by the movie Baby Boy. It mm. led me down this path. Mm. Uh, it's one of the ones where you find out where a real term comes from mm -hmm. that you, you may have heard. Uh, you probably ain't heard this one in a while because it's kind of dated. But apparently, um, this this guy, this black man named Elijah McCoy, uh, his parents was escaped slaves from Canada, and they escaped from Canada and came down to America, and he's their son, and they saw potential in him, so they sent him to Scotland, I think it was, to where he could study mechanical engineering. So he kind of grew up over there, he studied over there, he came back to the United States, and of course, racism. But despite the racism, he was able to get a job for I think it was the Central Michigan Railroad Railroad Company as this a fire engine. Hmm? No, a, okay, okay. As the uh, as um, a fireman and an oiler, mm -hmm. and he uses mechanical skills to build a more efficient oiling mechanism for the steam uh, locomotives, and it worked so well that uh, people uh, began requesting his. Uh, inventions and his parts over everybody else and they asked for the real McCoy. And if you remember mm. Baby Boy, the song, you you just a baby boy. You not the real McCoy. So that that saying that people mm. were using a lot came from Elijah McCoy and his inventions back in the day. Mm. Little known history fact. Yeah, and that's a little that's a little uh little taste of the new segment I'm gonna have when I finally get up and running yeah. when I discover Phrases and idioms and stuff like that, the origins yeah. of them. You just need to go ahead and get that up and running. Yeah, you want to do that. I do. That's what, I'm probably still going to do that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's still fire. So, you yeah, the real McCoy came from Elijah McCoy, a genius black inventor, former, uh, former slaves. That's pretty good. That ain't bad at all. And that's crazy because I just seen the story today about how uh, uh, I think it was an inventor in Maryland. He had invented, invented like the steam engine for boats, mm. and they took his patent because slaves weren't, weren't allowed to have patents. Oh yeah, and he had to sell it for uh, his freedom. Yeah, I think it was. I think I, you sent me that post. I think the uh, back then it was like a thousand dollars, but it, with inflation right now, it was thirty three thousand dollars. So that's that's was that was the price of his freedom back then. That's crazy. Thirty three stacks. Can you imagine somebody? You got to buy your freedom. And that, like, not how much. Not only buy it, I yeah. had to invent something. I had to invent my <laughs> way out of this. I had to invent something that didn't exist you know to make it out of this situation. Oh my goodness. So man. the average slave, they was like, ain't no, I ain't, I can't pick my way out of this. Oh man. That's crazy. I mean, I wanna I wanna tell that story. Along with the story that I got today, which is 
Memorial Day was started by uh, newly freed slaves during civil during the Civil War, eighteen sixty five, mm. and it was started in his very own state of South Carolina, and it was in Charleston. Um, there were uh, uh, soldiers who was uh, was going to get was going to get uh, prisoners that was at a a uh, what's the what's the place it's called a horse track. Mm. It was at a horse track. Oh. And, yeah, they had took over the horse track in Charleston, and uh, they made it like a prison during during the war. Uh, which is a fun fact. I think is uh, what what's up there now is a uh, is a memorial to Wade Hampton. And if you don't know who Wade Hampton is, Wade Hampton is a white supremacist uh, general. Wade Hampton the third is a way uh, is a white supremacist who fought uh, to keep the slaves. Crazy. Yeah, and we have a school down here in South Carolina called Wade Hampton, the Wade Hampton Generals. So we have black people here that um, you got our kids out there wearing <laughs> Wade Hampton jersey. Generals, like come on, man, <laughs> Wade Hampton be proud. That's sick. <laughs> That's sick work right there, dog. Yeah, man. And during this time, they call it decor uh, decoration day. So it's like basically they just uh, decorated their their uh, the graves. I think it was like seven hundred. It was like two hundred and fifty seven. Uh, prisoners they saved and then had well some of them they these are the ones they buried they buried two hundred and like fifty seven and then uh they celebrated their deaths and they celebrated you know the fact that they had war and 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 these were their fellow soldiers um and then that was in eighteen sixty five I think those people was able to be buried in Buford South Carolina in like the nineteen seventies because it was illegal for them to bury them there. Uh, Buford until that time. So Memorial Day was 1970s. started. Nineteen seventy. It was like nineteen seventy. So it was after, I think they. I think, yeah, <laughs> that's recent. Yeah, if I if, if my memory serves me correct, but like uh, Memorial Day was started by black people, <clears throat> which is something they don't tell you. I think that's very important, especially for how black people feel about going to the military, going to or even celebrating these things. Especially me. Yeah, that's how I kind of feel. It's like you know these you know looking back on like you know relatives that went to war and then came back over here and they still was treated like, you know, second class citizens. Mm-hmm. It never really made sense for me to go fight for a country that didn't really see me as part of uh, like th- their society or yeah. accepted in their society. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I get, you know, the, the controversy behind that, but that's just how I feel. Yeah. And I'm and the way I feel is echo with other people with the same uh, color skin as me, mm-hmm. you know? So, but to hear that Memorial Day was started by uh, uh, black newly freed slaves and, uh, and how they didn't get credit for it is also crazy. But to know that that's, it makes that's... it, it kind of empowers me to be more uh, American. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's a good fact. I think that's something that you know I, I I would like to do a story on. So I think I will. I think I'm gonna do more stories on stuff like that because I think stories like this is important, especially for us of color or um, or any. I'll, I'll probably do other like minorities. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Just to know that like there are certain elements of this country that we made up that made this this. This country whole. The list is long. The list is long. Start digging into the mm-hmm. inventions and the things we had a part of. Yeah. Crazy work. Now a little darker fact. Mm-hmm. This is I want this is my first one. I was like, this is kind of sad. But uh, excuse me. The German have you heard of the German Coast Uprising? Mm. So basically it was like one of the largest slave revolts in the, in U.S. history, and it happened like uh, near New Orleans. Mm-hmm. So they was riding like slaves were riding. I think it happened for like two or three days, and then they finally um, like squashed it. Mm-hmm. But then there was like they took all the slaves that were involved and they like beheaded them, and then they lined their heads up along the Mississippi River. You know how long it was. 1919. No, I'm saying you know how long the the, the line of heads. Oh, uh, mm-hmm. oh, you said slaves though, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I said 1919. I thought yeah. it should be like. <laughs> <laughs> well, when it happened, I know I'm saying like 1811 yeah. or something. Okay, like, it's, yeah. it's way back there. Yeah, okay, okay. So still uh, relatively recent. So it's like history, a, how, how long? How long? How long? Was, how long was it? Uh, six miles. Said to be six miles. I was gonna say one. I was like, nah, that's too yeah. much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that was too much. Yeah. I was like, man, I was like, nah, yeah. that could be too much. I'm now, now you can argue if it was that how many much hands space, yeah. or how much space it was. Mm-hmm. 
But it's still six, you, six, six, miles, six miles, six miles, six miles. So. You know what I'm saying? I hate to be hiking. I don't care. Yeah. A six mile hike. Even if it's 10 heads. Yeah. It's like, right, hey, I, yeah. See, I see a head every <laughs> 500 feet. I'm going to have a problem. I was like, yo, just, just another instance of how depraved people were back then. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to America. Welcome to America. I saw this dude. I saw this. is We tangent. I was like, man, they got it again. This black dude was talking about, and I gotta look at, I gotta look this up about how this slave owner, I think in South Carolina, he was black, and he owned like eighty four slaves or something like that. And he was like, man, they don't be teaching. See, this is what they don't teach in America. Mm -hmm. They've been lying to us. And mm -hmm. then you know, people, people in the comments uh, were like, you know, yeah, because you know they try to teach us to divide. It's about the rich and the poor, the rich and the poor. And then I'm like. I had a I had that conversation at work, and I'm like, but let but let's take a step back. We're poor white people slaves. <laughs> as poor as you were, were you treated as cattle? Like, was you treated as three fifths? Were there laws on the books differentiating you from other American citizens? Mm -hmm. That I think I think with that, the people were just looking for justification for stuff. Yeah. To say stuff was okay, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? The rich and the poor. No, it wasn't that, nah. bro. It's not that today. No matter how, it don't matter how much money I I was, I was still a nigga. They a rich one, one. You, got, you, you, you got you you don't get me wrong. You you got enough money. You got you got privileges. Yeah, but I guarantee you, at the end of when he walked out that door, you yeah. know what they called him. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, and I guarantee if he was somewhere where people didn't know him. Yeah, he he's out here. Yeah. He's slain. Mr. Candy, I ain't got a name no more. I don't care how nice your coat is. <laughs> you ain't in South Carolina anymore, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Take them suede shoes Take off. Them yeah, I, what size are them? I'm going to need them off you. Yeah, you talk real good, yeah. but you know what I'm saying? You talk like you got some sense, boy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Too much sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, people make me sick, bro. Yeah. People don't make me sick. People make me tired. But they don't even make me tired. They make me not want to look at humans. Right? It's yeah. just like, like people have become so predictable now that I, when I look at them, I just be like, bro, you don't even know your own habits the way I know them. Mm. I know what you about to say. Yeah. I know, I know where your mind goes. And I ain't you, got the energy. Bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I, that, I just go ahead and beat them down. I, you know I just got to the point. If I do comment, I'm just asking questions. Yeah. And if you if you if you truly want to answer the question, you are gonna quickly realize, oh man, I don't, I don't know. I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've stumbled into something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I make for me, I just I I ask them questions, but I frame them in a way that you know that you done messed up. Yeah, I make you run off. Like I, I, I gotta go get these pallets. Yeah, these pallets need me. Yeah, yeah. it's like nah, pallets so need what, me. What you mean by that? Like like what you say is like so white people slaves. Yeah. Oh, you know I'm sarcastic, so it's like yeah, but a lot of white people's back there, you know, getting hung up. Yeah, back in strung up. You know what I'm saying? They was promoting hangings, you know, mm -hmm. in the street of white people. What color was Emmett Till? I just like, just, yeah. just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and what year was that? What year was that? That's crazy. Who had to fight for civil rights? So y'all was three fields? For, yeah. So was poor people three fields? Yeah. Or was it? Now you bring it, that news to me. You just, you just, that's like some, uh, what's that movie Nicky, Nicholas Cage with, uh, when he was going around? Finding treasures in the United States. Oh, you talking about uh, national treasure? Yeah. Now you, now you uncover that. Yeah, you yes, got national you, treasure. You, you just turn my whole way of thinking over. Yeah, but you talk about one black person. Oh, let's just say there was ten black people that owned slaves. Is that is do, do that justify? The but that's the same thing yeah. people do with Obama. Well, yeah. Obama was president, yeah. so so uh, ain't nobody so racism said. over with. Yeah. Yeah. So Trump is president, so all white people not poor no more. See how stupid that shit mm -hmm. sounds. It's, it's just y'all. That's what that's what people sound like to me when they say stuff. It's just like, do you not understand what you mean? Because how could? But that's the thing, man. They don't they don't understand tokens. They don't understand people that just make it through the system. You yeah, like it, just like they understand like a filter. Yeah, like you can filter something out as much as you can, but a lot sometimes something get through. Some sediment you, gonna make it through that. You know what I'm saying? You can clean the vegetables as much as you want to. Salmonella getting through. It's getting through there every <laughs> time. <laughs> every time. You know what I'm saying? At least one of that one of them yeah, letters is gonna be bad. Ninety nine point nine germs. But that one. That one. And that, just because that one make it through don't mean you just throw the whole batch yeah. away. You know what I'm saying? Or the whole batch is. It don't oh, mean the mash don't work. Come it on, just man. mean it stopped most of the stuff. Anyway, we're going off on a tangent. To wrap it up. Those were our facts. 
uh, mine was the origin of the term that people use called the real McCoy to mm-hmm. denote whether or not something is authentic. Mine was uh, Memorial Day started by black newly freed slaves in South Carolina, Charleston specifically, where they freed people from a um, uh, a rescued uh, prisoners of war from a racetrack. Yeah. So you guys choose ones you like better. Mm-hmm. To be fair, this is last minute, so. <laughs> Cause I had something else. Yeah. We was we weren't gonna do Black History. We was gonna do something else. Mm-hmm. I had health and technology, but it's Juneteenth. So, so next gonna... time I'm gonna come back with a health and technology fact. Yeah, mine is better. Yeah. Anyway, the second one's better. <laughs> Shout out Kendrick tomorrow. Oh, uh, but that's it. Yeah, that's all we got, man. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Hey, sign up for our Patreon, man. Support your boys. Yeah, and get other people to come and subscribe. Yeah. If you, know you like it, why don't you tell people about it? You know what I'm saying? If you got any tips or anything to help us out, any critiques, let us know. Topics. Topics, anything. Y'all need more pictures or something. Y'all need something else up here to help y'all out to see. Y'all need some more visuals. Let us know. Y'all want to be shouted out? We ain't going to do that, but we'll do we'll I get mean, something. I mean, you pay for the Patreon. Yeah, if you we'll pay for the Patreon, you're getting, you getting shouted out. You're getting shouted out 100%. Yeah. Or ninety nine point one percent. You give us a good topic idea, we even give you a credit. Oh yeah, we we'll give you a credit for we'll that topic. A credit for sure, for sure. This episode mm. produced by or this is written by something like that. One of the producer credits. Yeah. One of the meaningless producer credits. Twenty five patent twenty six. You know what I'm saying? Whatever mm-hmm. your names are. Yeah. Idea. But like you said, like, comment, subscribe, share, sign up for the Patreon. I'm TK, aka uh, John Stewart, and I'm Darius, aka John Stewart. And this, and this is, is mine, mine again. <laughs>